this is a, a decoder circuits so which are very useful uh, in the case of uh, uh, processors and uh, systems because in the computer and uh, electronic components uh, computers <coughs> we have so many number of components uh, so that's why we need to connect uh, them to processor because the processing is the main unit which can do process as per the given task and uh, based on that uh, after processing the information has to go to uh, micro um, memory card and as well as input output devices and so many auxiliary components so for that purpose we need to identify and we need to address them so that's why the decoder is very useful uh, device which can be used to address or uh, identify the address locations of the particular data and also input output devices also in the located in memory locations whose address can easily be identified by using a decoder so decode means it converts uh, n number of inputs to the two power n number of outputs so as seen in the case of this block diagram we have n number of inputs and two power n number of outputs so if if for example if n is equal to 1 then one input here and two outputs here if two inputs are there and two inputs are there and four outputs are there it's a 2 by 4 decoder it's one by two foot and by one by two decoder it is n into two power n decoders uh, so let us uh, give a glance on one by two decoder so we have one input and uh, this is the black box inside we have uh, different components i uh, will discuss later and q0 is the first output and q1 is the second output so this is the truth table e x e enable pin is zero and a is equal to don't get that means if the enable every auxiliary component does have enable because if the pin is highlighted then it starts working uh, and if the pin is not uh, highlighted or given zero then uh, it doesn't work it that's uh, because uh, because we have since we have so many number of auxiliary components inside the processor so every component every auxiliary component should have uh, enable pin so that's why enable pin is zero then a irrespective of uh, uh, input if it is uh, means don't care then e even it may be either 0 or 1 that's why uh, we have uh, inserted as a don't care condition so in that case q0 q1 mm, neither will be selected and if the if the pin is 1 if the pin is 1 and in this case 1 1 that means then it starts working if the input is 0 input is 0 then the q0 is 1 and if the input is if the input is 1 then q1 will be 0 that means 0 means q1 1 means 0 means q0 1 means q1 so this is how we can discuss about this or we can explain about this 1 by 2 decoder now see the diagram internal diagram since it is a block black box so the circuit does contain this type of circuit so here a and here enable enable pin is directly given to the end gate of the one input and other input is this is directly connected to one and this is inversely connected to this that means if a is equal to zero then it is highlighted then it output is equals to one definitely it gives q naught selects similarly if a is equals to one and enable pin is 1 since it is the property of end gate it becomes highlighted q1 is selected so this is the circuit is being inserted in the black box so this is 2 by 4 decoder c a and b are the inputs and q0 q1 q2 q3 are the outputs and e is enabled so e is enabled here a b q0 q1 q2 q3 so if it is zero means definitely as we discussed earlier don't get conditions if it is one means then it starts working as uh, 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 we have as per the combinations we have written here and if it is 0 0 means it should be selected as first zero th output q0 if it is 0 1 means q1 q1 will be highlighted if it is 1 0 means then q2 q2 will be highlighted if it is 1 1 means q3 is highlighted q3 will be highlighted this is the uh, concept of the 2 by 4 decoder and uh, coming to the logical diagram which is being inside the black box will be as 
so this is the internal block diagram of the black box right so here the a and b so there are a and b inputs 00011011 are the inputs q0 q1 q2 q3 are the if it is 00 means 1 and 01 means this q1 is will be here 10 means q2 will be here 11 means q3 will be here so so since we have two inputs we need to draw uh, four outputs uh, four uh, combinations from them one is a and a bar b b bar so so first q1 q0 has to be select when it is possible if it is possible enable pin enable pin is is connected to all if it is one means then the input inputs what whatever the inputs will be passing into the output if it is zero means whatever may be the inputs a and b or a not or b not help plate will not be allowed into the output so that's why enable put should be equal to one then only it starts working if it is zero then without if you given any any type of inputs it will not be allowed that's why i have inserted uh, don't get conditions so q not will be selected when is when when will when the q not will be highlighted a bar b bar so a bar line is this is a bar here the dot means connection is there a a bar and this is b bar then if e is one a bar is highlighted b bar is highlighted then q not will be selected and similarly whenever the q1 is highlighted q1 is a is equal to 0 b is equals to 1 so a is equals to 0 that means a not so a not a bar and similarly b so here this is the b line so here the b line is that means b a bar and e so then q1 will be highlighted similarly whenever the q2 will be highlighted a1 b bar then q1 q2 will be highlighted a b bar a this is a and this is b bar then q2 will be highlighted and similarly whenever the q3 will be highlighted a and b so a this is a and this is this is b so this is how we can uh, draw the inside the circuit of the black box of a 2 by 4 decoder so this is 3 by 8 decoder we have three inputs a b c and enable and q not Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, eight inputs, eight outputs. So A, B, C are the inputs. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, and so on. So here, the, if the zero means enable, nothing will be enabled. So if it is one means all one means, then it starts working. So zero, zero, zero. That means A bar, B bar, C bar, Q0 will be highlighted. Remaining all are zeros. Next zero zero one. That means Q one will be highlighted. Remaining all zeros. Zero one zero. Q two will be highlighted. Remaining all are zeros. Q A bar B C. This will be highlighted. Q three. Remaining all are zeros. A B bar C bar. Q four will be highlighted. Remaining all are zeros. A B bar C. Q five will be highlighted. Remaining all are zeros. A B C bar. Q six will be highlighted. Remaining all are zeros. A B C and except q7 and all will be will not be allowed this is what uh, decoder truth table based on that we can draw the uh, internal diagram of this black box will be as yes. this is the full circuit diagram of 3 by decoder so first is a b c a a a possible combination a a bar b b bar line c in what c bar line and e all e is connected to all end gates and here q0 will be selected when it is possible that means a bar b bar c bar and e1 so e always one a bar next b bar here the this dot means b bar next c bar like this next q1 means a b c bar that means e a a bar b bar a bar b bar c so a bar here and b bar here and c here c here so like that based on the logic circuit that means uh, next for example if this is q5 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 means uh, 101 101 means a b bar c a so a is directly connected to this b bar so b bar 
is directly connected to this and c c is directly connected to this then q6 q6 means 110 that means a b c bar so a is connected directly here and b is connected to here, here and c bar c bar is connected here next q7 q7 is all are one so a is directly connected to this b is directly connected to this and c is connected to this so this is how we can draw the circuit of total uh, with using and gates and this is another way to connect uh, 3 by 8 decoder by using 2 2 by 4 decoder this is 2 by 4 1 decoder and this is 2 by 4 1 decoder so based on that we can able to get 2 by 3 by 8 decoders there are three inputs and these are four and these are for total eight outputs so we know this is 2 by 4 so b c b c are the two inputs and enable and similarly this is 2 by 4 b is here and c is here and enable is connected from here so 2 by 4 so first initially a becomes 0 that means initially there are two table a b c first 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 first four over this is this is q naught q naught q1 q2 and q3 and so on so like this that means so a b c 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 that means this is q naught q2 q3 and q4 so in the first case this will be highlight and the second case this will be highlight and the third case this will be highlight and in the fourth case this will be highlight that means when bc are the two inputs and th when th this becomes zero that, that's why a bar is, is connected here enable then automatically remaining bc based on the 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 based on that we have four outputs and similarly in the same way and the remaining four bits when this becomes q q4 and this becomes q5 and this becomes q6 and this becomes q7 when means this be, this means 100 is means 4 101 is means 5 110 is means 6 111 this means 7 that's why if all all are one means remaining these two are combination will be repeating so 00 means these two combinations repeating 1 1 means these two combinations are repeating that's why repeating combinations are connectedly 2 by 4 2 by 4 because b and c are the repeating task so b c are connected these decoders and the fixed target in the top end 0 0 is a so that's why a bar is connected and the bottom 4 q4 q5 q7 are 1 is fixed that's why a is connected here and the repeating b and c and b and c are directly connected to this that's why when a bar is 1 this will be highlighted and q0 to q3 will be selected when the a is 1 enable connected then bc repeating 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 when a is equals to 1 q4 q5 q6 q7 will be selected as per the combination of truth table so q4 to q5 selected this is how we can simply by using two 2 by 4 decoders we can able to generate 3 by 8 decoders